In this session, we are discussing how to carry out deletion operation of a certain node on a two-way linked list. Here we have considered a circular header two-way linked list. Here we shall delete one of the nodes and what are the required steps are there, we will be writing them here. Not We are not going to write the full algorithm because the main steps are the most important. Okay. Now, let us suppose there is a particular node with the info 15 is going to be deleted. So, in this way I shall search. So, my pointer will be here because this particular node is having the uh, info 15. So, this PTR variable will be pointing to this particular node. Okay. So, this PTR has to be deleted. Okay. So, how to delete? So, if you want to delete then in that case what are the steps we require? We require one step that is this one. So, this particular link will be pointing to this. This particular link will be pointing to this. Let it be my step 1. Okay. So, how to write that one? So, I want to know the I, I should be having some pointer which will be uh, which will be pointing to this particular node. So, I require one variable which will be having which will be holding the address of this particular node. So, let it be pref pointer, pref ptr. So, what we pref ptr? I am writing this one as pref ptr. So, what is pref ptr? Pref ptr is nothing but it is this address will be at the back of this ptr. So, here pref stands for previous. Okay. I want to point this particular node and this variable will be next PTR. So, who knows the address of next PTR? This particular PTR in the forward link, it knows the address of the next PTR. So, so next PTR is equal to PTR implies forward. So, in this way, we have initialize these two variables. Now, I want to I to have this particular link now. So, this link will be discarded. So, it will be pointing to that. Then, what is this? This is the forward link of this pref ptr and should be initialized with next ptr. So, so pref ptr implies forward is equal to next ptr. So, next ptr address has come here. So, this particular link has been established. Now, I should have, I do not ha have this one, I want to have this one like this. So, let it be the step number 2. So, I am just marking this one so that you can correlate. Okay, now, I shall go for the 2. So, what is this? This is the back of this next PTR. This is the back of this next PTR and should be having the reference of pre PTR. So, I am writing so, now see it is pointing to this and it is pointing to this. So, that means these two links have got abolished. So, now it is it can be deleted now because if I delete then these two nodes will remain connected. So, how to delete this one? So, write this one. So, free node PTR. So, free node PTR, free node is one of the functions. This function will take this PTR as input parameter and it will release the space which was occupied for this variable PTR, for this node PTR pointed by the variable PTR. So, in this way this particular node the required memory space will get free. So, that is a free node. So, one function I shall call and if the function is available in the respective high level language I will be calling that library function otherwise I write the function I shall make the space free. So, in this way the PTR is getting deleted. But I know that PTR has got deleted, but prior to that we did the connection in this way. So, this so start pre PTR, then next PTR, then the next node will be going. So, there will be no, uh, what should I say, there will be no break in the continuation. So, in this way, deletion operation on a two way linked list we have discussed with the proper example along with the respective main steps required in the algorithm. So, thanks for watching this particular video.